Welcome to the 2020 virtual graduation celebration at the James E. Rogers College of Law. Here's Dean Mark Miller. Good afternoon, everyone. It's two o'clock on Saturday, May 16th, 2020. I know you thought this day would look and feel much different than it does. We did. You know, sometimes even a refrigerator magnet can speak to the moment. And the refrigerator magnet that comes to my mind is, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. I'm looking forward, I think we are all looking forward, to the day when you can walk across the stage and receive hearty, human, immediate, and personal congratulations. Perhaps that will be a handshake if allowed. More likely, it will still be high fives and low fives from a two to three meter distance. I wish I could give you that moment, that photo op, but more than a photo op, that chance to congratulate you today. Recently, I've been thinking about other moments, uh, the ones that aren't always memorialized or accompanied by a ceremony. Those are the moments I will remember from your class. Stories of food baskets being left on doorsteps, about trivia nights held via Zoom, about students offering rides and deliveries, handmade masks, stories about people offering shoulders to lean on, sometimes metaphorical, sometimes literal. Your sturdiness and steadiness impresses us all. Your patience and strength have been a gift to the entire community. It is a characteristic we have seen during your time here, and it is especially evident now. This is a time in our lives that requires an odd duality of emotion. First, to take in the sadness and chaos of what is going on around us. Yet, second and equally important, to find joy in our lives despite that. So today, I hope you have joy. I hope you celebrate what your work has earned. I hope you thank your parents and your partners and your children and your friends for making this journey with you. We all have others to thank. But let us take note that for some, those family members have been far, far away, around our country and around our world. I urge you to share your favorite stories with your classmates, family, and friends. You will still be telling those stories a decade, indeed decades, from now. I encourage you to draw joy and strength from our unique landscape, the sun, the cool early mornings, the sunsets where all of you post the same cell phone picture to Instagram, and then faculty and staff post it to Facebook. And, of course, you should eat something really good. And I'd go with really local. Maybe a Sonoran hot dog with all the trimmings. Or when we can again gather in Cartel Cafe, or Raging Sage, or Club Congress. Finally, take some time to think about the strength and skill you have developed while here. Not merely the classes you took or the grades you got or didn't get, but your tenacity, your capacity, and your passion. Those are still the skills that will help you be successful, not only now when they are badly needed, but indeed they are the skills that you will apply and that will help you to succeed over your lifetime. When we meet in person, you will hear me conclude with the words of two of my favorite philosophers, words I share and on the rarest of occasions sing every year. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have earned this moment as much of any of the 104 classes that have come before. Here are celebratory messages from Angela Woolridge, president of the Law College Association, and Karen Donderwitz, president of the SBA. 
Arizona Law Class of 2020, congratulations on your tremendous achievement. I wish I could congratulate you all in person, just as I know you all wish you could celebrate this hard-earned moment together. But I am no less honored to virtually welcome you into the Arizona Law alumni community. And on behalf of this distinguished community, to assure you that you are not alone. As you embark on the next step of your journey, as you begin your legal career, despite the unprecedented and unpredictable times we find ourselves in, each of you has the full support of the alumni community. We are here to assist you in any way that we can, because you are now one of us. Today, you join more than 7,000 Arizona Law alumni who constitute a growing global presence, who lead because they are prepared to, who serve because they are called to, and who strengthen their communities every day in countless ways. I know that each of you will do the same, that you will rise to the unique challenges we face today and use the skills and knowledge you've worked so hard to acquire here at Arizona Law to make a difference in your own unique way, to pursue your passion, to fulfill your purpose, and to better our profession. On behalf of the Law College Association, of which each of you becomes a member today, I encourage and invite you to stay connected with Arizona Law. As we support you, please support one another and support our college as it educates, prepares, and empowers professionals who, just like you, will continue to change the world. We all face unique challenges today, but as you rise to and overcome those challenges, help strengthen our college as it does the same. We are all one community. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of the celebration. And congratulations again, class of 2020, and to the family and friends who made this remarkable accomplishment possible. Welcome everyone. Thank you for coming to our virtual graduation. I know this is not what we wanted, uh, but we made it, we did it. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I am so, so proud of us. I wish I had the opportunity to see each and every one of you, see your faces, see your families, to celebrate this time, to celebrate this, this, this accomplishment. We have overcome so much in the last three years, and we did it. We made it uh, to the very end. And this isn't the end of our story. This is the beginning of our story. One thing I know for sure is that I walked away not only with a group of friends, but really a family, a family of people who I can rely on, that I can turn to, that I know is as equally passionate about the legal community as I am. And I'm so fortunate to be a part of the class of 2020. I hope you and your families are sitting down on a comfy couch as you watch this virtual graduation and just embrace one another in this celebration, the celebration of accomplishment, the celebration of our new opportunities. I hope to see each and every one of you uh, in the future. I hope to see you at the bar or um, at our graduation sometime in the fall. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I love you. I hope you all are doing well. Be safe. We hope that your speaker, Barry Sheck, will be able to be with us at a future celebration. But meanwhile, he sends this message. Live from New York, this is your commencement speaker, class of 2020. This is an amazing time to venture into the practice of law. The injustices, the inequality of our system as never before have been revealed by this pandemic and we can do so much to change it. I wish you enormous luck and the great opportunity that's in front of you. I send you cheer from the greatest city in the world in this very, very difficult time. Good luck. Graduating students were invited to submit photos and words of thanks to all of those who helped them arrive on this day. The Class of 2020 Gratitude Show concludes today's program along with our very best wishes. Congratulations, grads.